Okay, we're back in the workshop today, and we're taking a break from the Aston Martin, and we're going to try to fix a braking problem on this cart that uh, our buddy Mike bought. Um, I think the problem is not this brand new master cylinder or the brand new caliper that we put on the cart, uh, but I think the problem is this fulcrum from here to here. So if I understand how fulcrum works, the lower you put it, the stronger your pedal pressure activates this part. So in other words, what I'm saying is on my other, my other carts, it works great. It's a one inch fulcrum. It's one inch from the pivot point. This is about two and a half inches, nearly three. So what I'm going to do is build a new bracket and I'm going to keep this bracket just in case my idea doesn't work. Um, but I'm going to put the fulcrum down here at about one inch from the pivot point and we'll see if that helps us. Also, this is a little bit misaligned. If you look, you know, it's a little hard to see, but this is misaligned. You can see this is sliding back and forth and it's not really got a good part. It needs to be secured basically. So I'm gonna mount it on the on the on this part of the body of the, of the pedal that's built here. This is a homemade pedal. Pretty well built pedal, I think. It's kind of cool looking. Um, well, let's fix some geometry on this thing and see how we go. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I think I got the bracket pretty well built. It's just a piece of one inch tubing and uh, just transferred the holes from the master cylinder and the pedal and I lowered this. Uh, initially, I cut it in the wrong spot, so I realigned it. So that'll be fine, not a problem. Um, that's what the old one looked like. So you see how much more complicated that was to build. I welded this onto here. Uh, on my other cards, I welded this onto the chassis. Actually, it makes a lot of sense to put it on here so it can come all out as one unit in case you have to service the uh, master cylinder a whole lot easier. So I'll go ahead and put that together, bolt it in, show you what that looks like. Okay, so we got the assembly all put back together. And this is looking pretty good. So I'm happy with this. It's got nice pedal travel. Uh, it is now aligned, top to bottom. Uh, at least not misaligned. Fairly level there as it goes in and out. So that's a good thing. Uh, this other one just had a little bit of misalignment in it, not that that was a problem, but I think the biggest issue was the pivot point. So we're moving it from up here to down here. So I think that's gonna make all the difference. Um, we'll get it over and installed in the chassis and re-bleed the brakes to see if we get more pedal pressure this time, uh, now that we have more power from the fulcrum. So anyway, hopefully this will work out and uh, we'll know soon. Okay, so this quite a bit I did not film. Uh, the cart is now in my garage. It's been over at my dad's house for a while. Uh, we did end up putting the new pedal assembly in with that master cylinder, and we still couldn't get any pedal pressure. So I bought a new master cylinder, which is a black one. That is for the same motorcycle that my son's cart has, a Kawasaki GSXR 600, I think it's called. Anyway, uh, in talking to Mark Parnell at Renegade Cycle Carts, he thought maybe that master cylinder was just too small and not moving enough fluid. So we bolted that in, put it all together, and still the same problem. So we thought, okay, well, nuts. What's the chances we got a bad caliper? So ordered another replacement caliper, which is this black one right here. Put it on, and we are getting pedal pressure now, just not enough. And then when you press the pedal, I'm trying to press the pedal with my hand while I videotape this, you're going to see this thing move, and it should not. So let me get my arm back in here. So I can focus on the right spot, and I press this. You should see the brackets actually moving and flexing. So I think either the bracket's not quite straight. Maybe I can get it closer. See how it's moving? That shouldn't be happening. So I think a lot of the action in the caliper is happening in the bracket flexing, and we're losing pedal pressure that way. So maybe we never had a problem with anything to begin with. Also this bracket, I'm not sure who fabricated that, but it fits so closely. You see it goes all the way around the chassis or the body right here. And it goes all the way around. I made a diagram, oh, where'd that go? Of what it looks like. I, when I had it off the cart, I sketched that on here. So that's what it looks like. And that thing just fits inside of there. So I think I'm gonna try to support that and brace it so it doesn't flex that'll maybe solve our problem so let's do that now okay so took took the bracket off and i think the culprit is it's not quite square so i put it up against the square here on the workbench i had a bunch of junk on here sorry guys the workbench is kind of messy put it right against the bottom 
where it touches here, and there's a gap at the top. So I think it's a little bit out of square. Uh, that might be 16th of an inch. So I'm gonna try to straighten that up. So I'm monkey around with that, see if I can get it to straighten up. All right, let's figure this out. All right, well, I put it in the vise and I give it a little push uh, just with my hands and it seems to, it's touching at the bottom now, it's touching at the top. So let's put this contraption back in there and see if I did any good. Um, yeah, let's get her done. So before we go too much further, I thought I would show you the parts I got here. So this is the um, brake caliper. It's for a Yerf Dog go-kart, 150cc. I uh, got this from Amazon. Yeah. There's different brands that they list the exact same part and they vary in price. This one happened to be $46.99. There's some on there for $30. Um, I decided to get this one just because it was a different brand than the one we already had. Thinking maybe that was a problem, but probably the $30 one would have been fine. So whatever, $15 difference. And then the master cylinder is for a GSXR 600. I might have mispronounced that earlier. I keep getting mixed up. It's like alphabet soup to me, motorcycle numbers. Anyway, rear brake master cylinder. And that was 18 bucks. This is the same one that's on my son's Austin Martin. So uh, I'll show you what that looks like here. This bracket that Mark, I think Mark made this bracket. Um, goes all the way around it. There's a little hole that goes here and this just threads in. And then there's a threaded hole down here. This part of the caliper. So that has to be threaded. So if you're going to make this, uh, this design, I guess, would work pretty good. Um, Mark, if you're watching this, maybe you think about making this on your CNC cutter make sure it fits better. And uh, this could be a pretty good solution because this is a really nice brake caliper. It's got dual pistons and it's got two really big pads. It's for a very heavy Chinese go-kart. Uh, go so, anyway, nice, nice kit, a bit of kit. Plus, you've got this type of uh, banjo bolt so you can hook up a hydraulic uh, brake light switch pretty simply. Anyway, let's put it back in. Okay, just got done welding uh, this bracket onto the mount. And I'm realizing um, if you're a sharp eyed uh, safety expert like I am, you can of gasoline right there. My wife just gave me a really hard time for being stupid. And I can't agree, I can't disagree with her on that. So, anyway, <laughs> waiting for this thing to cool off. I can mount it. I did uh, test it, it did take that, that, that pedal flex, I guess you would call it, in the bracket. Um, this is mounted, this hole is, this is upside, upside down, this hole is the um, axle mount. So same bolt that goes through here is what's going to mount that on the inside of there. So anyway, I'm going to let this thing cool off. I'll remount it. We'll re-bleed the brakes and give it a test. I think we've got the problem solved. Uh, the pedal did feel a lot firmer when we were testing this a minute ago when we had it tacked up on the car. So uh, yeah, it's coming along. Okay, so Steven's out test driving it for the first time. Oop, big long smoky black mark. The thing needs a city block to turn. We got a turning radius problem. We're gonna fix that next. <laughs> it's in the front yard. He's gonna come up now. How do they work? I know, but you only have one tire working there. You left a big long black streak, so they're working then. Well, that's because you don't have any traction. It's, yeah. it's just skidding. All right, I've decided that one wheel doesn't have enough traction to stop these things. And it takes a city block to turn it around, so we got to fix that. Cycle cart rescue. <laughs> I think that's what she call this, this video, cycle cart rescue. All right. Here he comes again. Motor goes pretty good. All right. All right, here he comes again. Well, I say that works pretty good. Okay, so these brakes work great for what we got. So if both rear axles were keyed, it would stop really good. 
is sliding one tire. These are gazelle tires that are pretty old, so they're pretty hard compounds. They, they don't have a lot of traction, so they're leaving a long black streak. That's how smoky that was. So uh, brakes are working. We got the flex out of it. That was the problem the whole entire time. Um, so lesson learned, make sure there's no flex in that bracket when you're building your second car frame for your brakes. So uh, next up is fix the steering. All right, more later. All right, all my excitement, I forgot to show you what the bracket finally looks like. It's just two pieces of L metal welded together on top of the other bracket that was there. And uh, yeah, it's functional, not pretty, but it works. It keeps it from flexing. There's no more flex in any of this, or any of this rather. Sorry, I gotta focus on the right thing. So this bracket is keeping it from moving. It's just bolted through the axle bolt and these two bolts back here. So that's keeping that caliper in place. So the caliper works pretty good, it's dual piston. Well, I think that works pretty good for any cycle car. So if you're looking for a cycle car caliper, uh, that one's a pretty good one. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.